Hello, my name is Tim. My company is Sports and Touring, and we are Jaguar F-Type specialists. It took Jaguar quite some time to produce the two-litre F-Type, but when they did, it was very clear why. It makes a great deal of sense. The performance is sparkling. The economy of ownership, tremendous, and it looks every bit as good as any other F-Type does on the road. This example is particularly splendid. It's got an amazing array of optional extras, and it is in this gorgeous chorus gray with black pack and sitting on perfect style 6003 or gyrodyne 20 inch alloy wheels. It's in fabulous condition and with very low mileage. Let's take a look around. The R Dynamic badge and the style of the headlights, of course, tell you that this is a post facelift F type, September 2017, and in such a glorious colour palette with the chorus grey set off by these gyrodyne wheels. Black pack looking brilliant, and of course, with panoramic roof, you get this lovely effect of the A to B pillar making a punctuation mark at the top corner of the car, as it were. The condition, by the way, is fabulous. The paint is lustrous and deep and shiny. No swirl marks, nothing to indicate it's been through those awful mechanical car washes. This has clearly, from its mileage and condition, been a weekend pleasure, not a daily driver. And the combination, I think, of chorus grey and black pack and gyrodynes, again, looks superb from any angle. The car is supplied, of course, with two remote key fobs and the owner's book pack. And pressing unlock, we can see the door handle pops out there with the Jaguar logo on it. And then we're into this beautiful cockpit. Everything in fabulous order. The door card, I dare say, pretty well as it left the factory, unmarked and unblemished. There's the little badge that tells us we have Meridian sound in this particular F-Type. Again, the scuff plate there in fabulous order. And the seats likewise, no wear, no rubbing uh, away of the colour on the side bolster, uh, as you might expect on a less well cared for example. And they're beautiful seats too in jet leather and Alcantara, so warmer in the uh, winter and cooler in the summer than full leather seats. And we can sit down into the cockpit and explore a little further. And one of the first things that you notice in the F-Type cockpit is this beautiful, huge panoramic sunroof. It's a really massive area of glass. If the heat gets too much, just pull the screen along and that shuts the light out. But otherwise the light floods in in a really brilliant way. Looking around, we've got a little stowage net between the two headrests there. Centre console with the little compartment there with two uh, HDM with the HDMI connector, two USB sockets, the SIM card and the 12 volt socket as well. Forward of that, the twin cup holders, of course. And then we'll start up the engine in order to have a look at the systems here in the centre console. So with the start button there, we'll see the instrument binnacle do its little flying display. And then the centre air vent rises up into position like so. Uh, back down here, we've got four buttons here for eco stop start, the manual spoiler deployment, the switched active sports exhaust and the traction control off. Electronic parking brake with hill start assist and the driving mode selector. And you can see we're in dynamic driving mode at the moment. Uh, the instrument binnacle is backlit red to indicate that as well. And so throttle mapping, gearbox mapping and so forth set up for a sportier drive. We can go from dynamic into standard and then into rain, ice, snow mode. Very useful on a powerful rear wheel drive car with those wide rear tires. Really calms things down in winter weather. Back into standard driving mode and we'll look at this beautiful shift stick. Trigger on the front, park selector on the top and we can use the trigger and move into drive there like so. And then across into sport and we can shift up and down using the shift stick there or at any time, of course, using the flappy paddles on the steering wheel so you keep your hands on the wheel in full control of the car. Down to the climate control, and we've got, of course, auto climate, air conditioning, recirc, 
and an electrically heated front windscreen on this car, another extra cost option. This is really a very highly specified F-Type, very useful in the British winter when you get ice and, and um, so forth on the front windscreen. It clears very quickly. Dual zone climate control, so passenger and driver can dial in the temperatures they prefer, and three-stage electrically heated seats as well there. Up onto the infotainment uh, package, and it's very fully featured. Here we've got the uh, music sources, which include DAB, FM, AM radio, Bluetooth streaming from the phone, and a media library. So you can uplift your um, music onto the car's hard drive and then play it from the car's own jukebox like so. Back to the home screen, Bluetooth telephony, very, fu very fully featured, very clear and easy to use. The climate screen enables us to direct the airflow where we wish, and we can also synchronise the two temperatures like so. Back to the home screen again, and the satellite navigation. I know it looks very bright indeed on the screen when we're filming like this, but uh, it's very clear, very fully featured. Again, um, people find it very easy to use and, uh, and to interpret as well. Over onto the steering wheel and the left thumb button cluster has the infotainment controls and Bluetooth telephony. Left stalk for the uh, automatic headlamps. Over on the right hand side we've got the cruise control and active speed limiter and the button for the heated steering wheel. Brilliant in a British winter. So good to have a warm steering wheel to, to keep your hands warm on those cold days. And then the right hand stalk for the rain sensitive wipers. And another feature on this particular F-Type, another extra cost option, is the Lane Keep Assist. There's the button there, and that alerts you if you drift outside your lane on the road. Again, it's all in really beautiful condition. Unmarked, unblemished. It's testament to a car which has been very carefully looked after by its previous owners. Let's switch off and take a look in the boot. As I say, a very highly specified F-Type indeed, one of the features being the powered tailgate. Lifts the tailgate out of the way for you so you can put your bags and shopping in and so forth without difficulty. And again, the condition in here is brilliant. Everything crisp and clean as it should be, no marks or stains to worry about. And it's a big boot for a sports coupe. Over 310 litres in size, it extends right out behind the rear wheel arches there. So if you've got golf clubs or fishing rods or whatever, they will fit in there easily. Uh, people have been on long touring holidays in F-types and no problem at all carrying the amount of luggage they wish to. The only thing is that you need to pack, of course, soft-sided bags uh, to make best use of that space. Or you could get hold of one of the uh, bespoke luggage sets that various people have manufactured for the F-type. Again, closing either with the remote key fob or just the button there and the powered tailgate. Powers itself down and pulls itself locked. The passenger side of the car, again, is in sensationally good condition. An as new door card, almost perfect scuff plate. I mean, very few signs that that isn't brand new and the dashboard, centre console, and this beautiful seat, all in very, very fine condition indeed. Under the bonnet, and there is the Ingenium two-litre petrol engine, a straight four-cylinder engine with a big turbocharger on it, which powers this car from naught to 60 in just 5.7 seconds, and on to a top speed, artificially limited at 155 miles per hour. Those are impressive figures, but maybe the most impressive figure is that the extra urban fuel consumption is 45 miles per gallon. And that is pretty tremendous for a sports car as good as this one. Again, under the bonnet, everything correct and clean, everything in good order. Very good service history with this vehicle, and it has passed all of our tests without any issues whatsoever. So thank you very much indeed for watching. It's been a great pleasure to show you this beautiful F-Type. We are sports and touring. We're just outside Andover in Hampshire, open seven days a week by appointment only. You're very welcome to email, telephone or WhatsApp if you've got any queries, or if you'd like to see this car either in person or by video call. 
we can send you a link to the Google Drive for the car. That's an online folder where you can see higher resolution photos and PDF copies of important documents. If you've got a car to dispose of on your buying journey, we'll give you frank and honest advice about the best way to achieve the maximum value with the minimum inconvenience. And if you'd like to chat about finance, we can do that as well. We're authorized and regulated by the FCA and we work with a really tremendous broker. Please do take a few moments to look at our reviews in Auto Trader. I'm ever so proud of the things that our previous customers say about their experiences buying from us. And I'll close by saying thanks again. Please feel free to like and subscribe to our channel here. And we will look forward to hearing from you very soon indeed.